So we're gonna try this sweet potato pie, right? Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I did in my last video, I did a pumpkin pie deep conditioner. So today we're gonna try sweet potato pie, all in the spirit of Thanksgiving. And I have a sweet potato pie. So we're gonna try the sweet potato pie afterwards, but let's get into this video. Okay. Okay, so y'all know I tried the pumpkin pie and I liked the pumpkin pie. It was moisturizing. It wasn't um, as moisturizing as I'd like it to be. So we're going to try this sweet potato pie, right? <laughs> no! Okay, so before we begin with this video, I wanted to let you guys know that this recipe and the other recipes that I actually have on my channel are totally customizable. For this recipe, all you really need is one baked potato, your favorite butter, two or three of your favorite oils, three of your favorite essential oils, and a cheap conditioner if you want extra slip. But everything else that I'm adding to this recipe is really in keeping with making a potato pie for the season. So let's just continue with this video. Okay, so for this recipe, I'm going to use a baked potato, honey, shea butter, which is going to be melted. Three of my favorite oils, castor oil, olive oil, and macadamia oil. Now I'll add essential oils, which I am keeping with the theme of pies, cinnamon oil, nutmeg oil, ginger oil the rest of these ingredients are totally optional we're gonna put in one egg a cheap conditioner and my flaxseed hibiscus mix I'm gonna link a recipe to this if you're interested above this video and below in the description okay so here we go we're going to chop up that sweet potato into the blender cup. FYI, you can boil the sweet potato instead of baking it if you like. That's totally up to you. But let's talk about the benefits of sweet potato for a little bit. So sweet potato is low dead with vitamins and minerals and omega-3s. But what makes sweet potato even better for healthy hair is its high B-carotene content. So B-carotene is known to be converted to vitamin A in your body. And vitamin A can boost your scalp's natural oils to promote a healthy scalp and healthy hair growth. Next, I will add 2.5 tablespoons to 3 tablespoons of melted shea butter. Now I'm adding melted shea butter in instead of the whole raw shea butter like I did in my pumpkin pie video because I think a melted butter actually helps with an even smoother, creamier deep conditioner. And if you haven't noticed by now, shea butter is one of my favorite butters. So I'm going to use shea butter in this recipe. So you can use any butter that you like, any of your favorite butters. It's totally up to you. Now I'm adding 
half a cup of coconut milk and your my hair hates coconut oil but it somehow likes coconut milk and coconut milk is a really good natural conditioner and it has a chemical called lauric acid and lauric acid is known to be antifungal antiviral and antibacterial so it's really great for your scalp also and promoting healthy hair obviously once all my ingredients are in the blender cup I'm going to start blending everything together or what I'd like to call creaming the mixture just be aware that you're going to have to take it off the blender about two three or four times to just mix everything together to ensure that everything gets blended y'all look at how delicious that looks and it smells so good too I just want to eat it next add one egg and beat till frothy once the egg is frothy go ahead and put in that creamy sweet potato mixture Next, blend in the sweet potato mixture with the egg. Now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. We're going to add one tablespoon of honey. Now honey is a great humectant. It binds with moisture from the air and it's a great emollient. It adds shine and it smooths the hair follicles. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of two of my favorite oils. That's olive oil and castor oil. And you can go ahead and add whichever oil you like. I don't have to say much about these oils because I have them in probably all my videos and I've talked about them before. So if you do want to know the benefits of these oils, then you can just check out some of the videos I will link down in the description. Now, I will add an oil which is slowly becoming my fav one of my favorite oils and it's called Andreoba oil. It's really good to stimulate blood flow for faster hair growth and strengthen the hair structure. But it's also good for scalp care and it soothes any irritated scalp because it has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Now I'm adding another one of my favorite oils, macadamia oil. It is great for calming frizz and it's like a non-greasy nutty oil and it adds a really good shine to my strands. And now I'm adding a little over half a tablespoon of my hibiscus flaxseed mix and this is as I said totally optional but I will link a video to it in the description. Now we can mix everything together to make an even smoother paste. And let's not forget our essential oils. We're adding nutmeg oil, cinnamon oil, and some ginger oil to the mixture along with a few drops of vanilla oil. Now mix it all together and we have our sweet potato pie deep conditioner. My hair feels so moisturized. So I'd say it's a yes from me on the sweet potato deep conditioner too. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, hit that notification button. Let's taste this sweet potato pie. And this actually tastes Good. I...
wouldn't think it it's very cinnamony very like nutmeg cinnamon spice kind of but this is a lot better than that pumpkin pie this is this is good i like this mm, it's a thumbs up for me i got y'all got my vote on this one that's pretty good mm, mm -hmm. i i can dig this 